Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at the HC05 Bluetooth module. Now, this is a Bluetooth radio to serial interface, and we're going to have a look at how we could build a wireless data link using two of these modules. Now, the HC05 module can be configured as a master or a slave, as opposed to the HC06 module, like this one here, which, can, which is a slave-only module. It has four pins, and the HC05 has six pins. Now the microcontroller on board this module runs on 3.3 volts, but there's an onboard regulator, so we could run it on 5 volts. If you look on the back, we can see the VCC and ground would be 5 volt input, and then the regulator would, would uh, bring it down to 3.3 volts to run the circuitry. But all the rest of the I.O. pins are going to be 3.3 volts. So whenever I interface with the HC05, I always use 3.3 volts for the rest of the pins. Now some of the modules have current limiting resistors that you could actually apply 5 volts to, a, to the I.O. but uh, there's a lot of different modules out there so uh, to be safe I use 3.3 volts for the rest of the module. So we have VCC and ground the first two pins then we have the TX and RX and that's our RS-232 port and then we have a key pin some are labeled EN for enable and that enables us to put this module into the AT command mode. So we apply a high or 3.3 volts to the key or the EN on some modules when we apply power to power up the module and we'll go into the AT command mode. The last pin is, is called LED and some are called status. Now this pin goes high when this module is paired to another Bluetooth device. Now some of the modules can drive the LED uh, directly but this one can't so I actually run it through a transistor and I buffer it to, to run an LED. So next we're going to actually see how we could uh, program these modules to become either a master or a slave and we'll build a little wireless data link. Okay here's a little circuit which I have built on my breadboard to configure my HC05 Bluetooth module. So I have a USB to serial cable connected to the module. Now this cable has four wires coming out of it. Now two are power plus five volts in ground which feeds power to the module. Another two are the TX and RX lines. That's the RS-232 port which is connected to the HC05 Bluetooth module. Now I could have used an FTDI module instead of the USB to serial cable like this one here. It would have done the same thing but my USB to serial cable was a lot cheaper so that's what I'm using in this setup. Now my LED pin or, or sometimes called the status pin on my Bluetooth module goes high when this uh, Bluetooth module is paired to another uh, Bluetooth device. Now in my case my module cannot drive an LED directly so I have this little NPN transistor here to buffer uh, my LED output to drive this LED over here. So this LED will go on steady when the Bluetooth module is paired to another uh, Bluetooth device. Now to put the module into the AT command mode we need to pull the the key pin or sometimes, ena uh, sometimes called the enable pin EN we have to pull it high uh, when, we power up the, when we power up the module. So I have a 3.3 volt regulator which is being powered by the 5 volts from the cable and I have one end fed to this uh, push button switch another end is fed into the, the, into the key pin. So if I hold this, this uh, push button in as I power up the module it will go into the AT command mode then I can configure my HC05 uh, module. So we'll power up the module, I'll plug it in, we'll power it up and we can see it's going into the fast flash mode which means uh, it's not paired it's waiting to be paired so if I get my smartphone out and if I pair to the device you can see the LED came on steady indicating it's paired to another Bluetooth device which is my smartphone and you can see it's gone to a different flash rate on the module it's gone to a double flash double fast flash rate now if I cancel, if I unpair, we can see the LED going out and the module going back to its uh, fast flash indicating it needs to be paired. Okay, next I'm going to demonstrate how we put the HC05 Bluetooth module into the AT command mode. So right now the module is not powered up. You can see there's no LEDs at all on on the module. So if I hold in the push button, which will apply 3.3 volts to the key pin. Now if I power up the unit as I'm holding in the button, you see the light comes on, then it goes into a slow flash indicating we're in the AT command mode and I can release, I can release the push button. 
Now we're in the AT command mode. So I can use a program now called uh, TerraTerm, which is a serial terminal program. And I could actually get into the module now using AT commands and configure my HC05 module. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard. If you look at the diagram, you can see the HC05 Bluetooth module and the pinouts. And to the right, you can see the USB to serial cable. Now in the cable, we have our, our power supply, our VCC and ground, our plus 5 volts and ground. And we have an RX and TX line. That's our RS232 port. Now the TX line from the serial cable has to be put through a voltage divider to cut it down to 3.3 volts before it's fed into the RX pin of the module. Now the HC05 module has a key pin which puts it into the AT command mode. Now one end of the key pin is connected to a push button switch which has 3.3 uh, volts on one side and that's, that's being fed from the 78L33 voltage uh, regulator which is getting its input power from the, from the cable. So when you press the, the button we're going to feed 3.3 volts to the key pin and on power up it will go into the AT command mode. Now some Bluetooth modules have a built-in button on the, on the module itself that you press to put it into the AT command mode. Now the last pin is the LED pin. That goes high when the Bluetooth module is paired to another uh, Bluetooth device. So I have this uh, pin fed into a, a NPN transistor through a 1K resistor. So when uh, the module goes into uh, the paired mode, the LED will come on solid, indicating it's paired to another device. Okay, to build a Bluetooth wireless data link, we need two Bluetooth modules, we need two HC05 modules. One has to be configured as a master, another one has to be configured as a slave. So this one here is my master, this one's my slave. You can see in the back here, I got them labeled. Master and slave. So the master will simulate my smartphone, like when I paired my smartphone to the slave. Now the master will become like the smartphone. So the master will have to pair automatically to the slave. Now each HC05 module has its own unique address. We could call it a MAC address. So we're going to read the MAC address of the slave and give that information to the master. And we're going to tell the master to, to bind to that address. So when the master powers up, it's going to look for the slave address and it's going to pair automatically. And we're going to have a transparent link between the master and slave modules. So now if I power up this board, we can see the master come up and it's going to look for the slave and they're going to pair indicated by the LEDs, pair LEDs coming on. So you can see the LEDs come on indicating these two have been paired. So now we have a transparent link, an RS-232 link between the master and slave. So whatever data we send into the master will come up the slave and vice versa. So we have ourselves a little link. So I'll, I'll pull up the power and I'll turn it around and I'll do it again. You can see it from the back. See they're paired, you can see the, the, the LED comes on solid indicating they're paired. And you can see both modules are going into the, the double blink, the, the fast double blink rate saying that they're paired. So now we have a link between the two. Now to test the link, what I do, you can see this little jumper here, I jumpered the TX and RX on the master. So we could send data from the slave and it will be looped back, back, to, the, back to the slave and we'll get an echo. So whatever data we send will be, will be echoed back and that will test the radio link and that will test the RX and TX lines. Now if we lose our radio link path, the modules will sense that and they'll disconnect automatically. So if I actually pull out one of the modules and we can watch the pair LEDs. The slave detected it and it, it it disconnected. Okay, I have my HC05 Bluetooth module up and running in AT command mode, and I got it connected to my computer through my USB to serial cable. So we're gonna we're gonna configure this module as a slave module. And if you look up at the screen, you can see I'm running TerraTerm. I'm on COM6. That's a COM port of my cable, and I'm running at 38.4K baud. That's the baud rate for the AT command uh, setup. So if you look over to the right, you can see I have Notepad running and I have all my AT commands there that I need to uh, configure my, my modules. And if you look up, anytime you see an AT command ending in a question mark, that's going to return a setting. The AT plus name question mark will return the name. AT plus password question mark will return the password, the PIN number. AT plus role question mark will return the role, either master or slave. 
So we could we could either copy or paste or type these manually into uh, TerraTerm. So we'll start out with AT. We'll just see that we're, that we're connected to the module. So if we co copy and paste that, now we have to hit return on the keyboard. You see we got the OK. So we're talking to our module. So the first thing we want to do, we want to set the name. And we'll actually read the name. So I'll go AT plus name and I'll copy that. And I'll paste that. Now before I hit return, I have to press the key button on my breadboard uh, to get the name. We're in a second command set. So to, for, for to read the name, we have to keep the, the key button pressed in when we hit enter. And there's our name is slave. Now if you go to AT password, question mark, our AT password should be 1234. If not, then we could type AT plus password equals 1234 like that and we could enter that. AT plus role, we want this to be a, a, a slave device. So we'll just make sure that's a slave. And role equals zero, so it's slave. Now if we go down to AT plus address, now we want to get the MAC address of, of the slave module to give to the master module. So we'll have a look at that. So there's the address. Now we'll take that address and we'll take out the colons and we'll insert commas and we'll put that down here on notepad at plus bind equals and there's the address that I have there. So we'll need that uh, we'll need that when we program the the master module. So we just remember that. So that's all we have to basically do for the slave module. We just wanted to get that uh, the bind address to program into the master. So we're all set. So now we can go ahead and configure the master module. Okay, I have my master HC05 Bluetooth module up and running in AT command mode, and I got it connected to my computer. And I got TerraTerm running. So we can do the same sort of thing, but we're going to use the master uh, configuration. So first of all, we'll uh, we'll use the AT command just to make sure that we're we're talking to the module. So we'll copy and we'll paste that, and we get an OK. So we're we're connected. And we'll do the name again, AT plus name question mark. And we'll copy that, paste it. Now I have to hold in the, the button on the, the key button before I hit return. And there's our name, master. Now we only have to do that for the name. We have to hold in the key button. The rest of the commands, we don't have to do that. There's two sets of commands, and um, the name happened to be in the second bank. So to change banks, we have to press the key in when we hit enter. So there's the name master. You can name it whatever you want. So you just go AT plus name equals and then put in whatever name you want. Uh, AT plus password question mark. We'll have a look at that. That should be the same as the as a slave. So that should be one, two, three, four. And that's one, two, three, four. And if it's not, you could do AT plus password equals one, two, three, four. And you copy and paste that and that will change it to whatever you want. But we want one, two, three, four. It has to be same as the as a slave. So AT plus role, we want this to be master. So we go AT plus role question mark. And we'll have a look at that. And that says one. So that's a master. That's what we want. If it's not one, then we could just do AT plus role equals one and, and copy and paste that. Now we go AT plus C mode, connect mode. And we'll have a look at that. That's set to zero. That's connect to fixed address. That's what we want because we want to we want to bind it to this to the slave. So if it was a if it was a one, we would have to change that to a zero. Now we go down to our bind at plus bind. So we're going to take our our slave address and we're going to bind it to the master. So we're going to take that, copy it, paste it. We get an OK. Now to check it, we could actually go at plus bind question mark just to make sure that we got the right address and there's the address so it's correct so basically that's all we have to do for the master now there's other commands here you could play around with uh, you could set your um, UART baud rate uh, I have mine set for 9600 that's what my project wanted so you could put whatever you want in there AT plus UART equals and you could stick in your baud rate there for your project and there's other ones at the very bottom those are advanced ones. There's default factory settings. You could put your module back to default settings. Uh, there's a, there's an AT version. You could get the, actually the software version. 
if you want. We could copy and paste that. So there's all kinds of commands that you could play around with. You just have to enter them into your notepad here and play around with it. That's a, that's a good way to get to know how, to, how these uh, modules operate. So basically we set up the master. So now we could plug that into our breadboard and we could get a little, our little wireless data link up and running.